afternoon, South Africa. Welcome to Afternoon Express. I'm Bonnie Mbuli. Hope you're doing well this afternoon. Today on the show, we're focusing on the family. We're joined by two representatives from FAMSA, and they'll be chatting to us about why healthy families make for healthy communities. We also invited Expresso presenter Ewan Stradham to tell us about that little garden shed he recently built for his kiddies. Danila is in the kitchen. Indeed, good afternoon South Africa, awesome to be with you this afternoon and welcome to the show, my name is Danilo Aquisto. So I'd love to hear from you about these families and I've been thinking quite hard about this. I thought it was a great opportunity for you to send us all of your incredible photos of you and your family. The questions we're asking on the social media sites today is what do you think makes a happy and healthy family? Answer the question and send us a photo of your family on Twitter, you can tweet us at Afternoon Chat or Facebook. Find us Afternoon Express. You can also call us on our number. You know the number by now. Make sure it's saved on your phones. We'd love to hear from you uh, and obviously read those comments on the social media sites. Also on the show today, we're making something super delicious in the kitchen. But because we haven't been on air on Monday and Tuesday, we thought we'd just jam-pack the show today full of delicious so much. recipes. Which is great because the answer to your question is a family that cooks together, stays together. Today, the Often Express family is cooking. Whoever, right. whether it was Confucius or whoever came up with that phrase is now really starting to be like, people are changing my phrase every day. <laughs> Praise together, stays together. It's cooks. Okay, well, anyway, yeah. anyway. What are we doing? So we started, we're going to do three amazing dishes today. Yummy. That's amazing. I mean, yes. three. In, I can't wait. Okay, cool. Starting off, we're doing an amazing apple cake with a delicious Ooh. maple demerara cream cheese frosting. How does that sound? It sounds so cool. yummy. The last recipe we did with apples too was amazing, so I'll come in for this one too. Awesome. Then we're going to do a little cocktail treat using some fresh nuggets. What do you think? Uh -huh. yeah. I like the idea. I like this idea. And then we're going to end off with something a little... We kind of... It's kind of a cheap, but we're being healthy. Cottage pie with a difference. You're going to have to Ooh, wait yummy. to see that. Delicious. Yeah. Well, if you guys want to get that uh, recipe for the cottage pie, uh, we're trying something new on the show today. You can SMS us uh, with the keyword pie uh, to double three six five zero, and you can get all all the recipe details there, all the ingredients, and a link to the recipe itself. So if you also want to cook along with us, you will find all the details later on right here on Afternoon Express. Let's kick off the show, why don't we? <laughs> FAMSA is a non-profit organization that specializes in relationship counseling. And no, we're not talking about your man going out with his buddies to watch the game when you had organized a date night, but rather the relationships within families to help develop their full potential, positive identities, and form a set of positive values within the family, because they believe that healthy families create healthy communities. Today we're joined by Tobi Sangalo, who is the Kailicha office manager of FAMSA. Welcome to the loft, Tobi sir. Thank you. Well, Lovely to have you with us. Thanks. Tell us about the organization FAMSA. I think all of us have heard about FAMSA some, some way or another. But what do you actually do in the communities that you're based in? FAMSA is working in six communities. Um, what we do, we offer counseling services um, for people that have got relationship problems. Um, it can be couples, individuals, and families. So in all these six communities that we are working in, we do counseling, and then we do, um, in the four co communities, which is Danone, Elsis River, Mitchell's Plain, and, um, and um, Kailicha, what we do in those communities, we go out a lot, um, we do um, workshops, marriage enrichment workshops, mm -hmm. where we go out and train people on that. And then we do fatherhood workshop, which is the new thing now that we wow. started. Because we've seen that fathers are always on the side. They are not part of the family and they are excluded in the raising up of children. So we started these workshops where we train fathers only to be part of families. Um, so we do that in those communities and then we, pre we, we help um, teenage parents with parenting skills and we also, the parents that have been on parenting uh, roles, but then we equip them with skills on how to do the effective, positive parenting. So, and then we've got the observatory office, which is our main office. What we do in observatory, also counseling uh, for these people, like the couples, the, fa uh, the families and, um, individuals, but also we do a lot of training there. We train our professionals on how to do e-counseling, basic counseling skills, trauma debriefing. Um, we do EWP, which is we go out to the companies. We offer trauma support. Mm -hmm. And then we also do e-supervision, a lot of that. Right. So which means that we support, we, we not only train people, but we also support them in doing the work um, the, the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah. So those four communities that I talked about is, um, they are run by volunteers. So you right. don't get uh, a professional service there. However, those people are trained in counseling. 
Right. So they will listen to you and then refer if they cannot help you, but they're also trained to do the work that wow. we are also doing. The Kailicha office is mainly run by social workers. Mm -hmm. So it's four social workers in that office that I manage. And then we also do the work. We go out a lot in doing the positive parenting skills in the in the Kailicha community right. and also in any other community community only by a request we by do request, that. Right. Yes. How how aware are the communities of your existence and of the services that you offer? FAMSA has been around for about sixty eight years now. Uh, I think um, in all the communities we are well known because we go out a lot. Do you do home visits? Do you just speak to people? Do you make sure that it's it's you're going to them and not them not having to find Come the to service? Us. Okay, we go out to them. We do. Um, we engage with other mm -hmm. organizations in the community where we always um, um, market our services. We go on any other radio stations that invite us. Right. Um, any community newspaper that is in the community, and then we go to churches. Yeah. So that is what the volunteers are doing. They yeah. go out a lot in churches and in schools, market yeah. our our services. How do healthy communities make? Uh, healthy families make better communities? Uh, Bonnie, let's start looking at the family. What is a family? Mm -hmm. Or how can we define a family? Mm -hmm. A family is where the, the foundation is laid, right? Where the foundation is laid for the child to, to, to develop um, cognitively, physically, socially, and psychologically. So what happens is that if the child grows up in that family where if they got everything that the, the parents play their role as, as 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 parenting that child then they, they go out whoever that is associated with that particular family will be able to learn those values that that family get so it doesn't end in that family only it goes out so families Healthy families, they also make a better society because what, whatever that we learned in this family, we can filter through to other people that associate with, with us. It can be our friends, it can be extended families, any, any person yeah. that comes to us yeah. is that family. What are some of the issues that South African um, families are dealing with in these communities? Well, the, the most widespread issues. Yes. yes. Oh, there's a lot of issues. I can only mention a few to you. Um, if you look at South Africa as a whole, we are facing a, a, a challenge of HIV and AIDS pandemic mm -hmm. um, where parents ended up losing touch with their children or children grow up without parents because of the HIV Child and AIDS. Homes. Child held at homes, unemployment, um, chronic illnesses like you're looking at diabetes and other, and other um, chronic illnesses and also homelessness. That's mm. what is um, families families are facing nowadays mm -hmm. in, in mm -hmm. South Africa. Mm -hmm. Yes. For anyone watching and feels that they feel like their family relationships are in a lot of trouble, yes. how do they begin to go about the process of approaching FAMSA, and what would they have to go through? They can phone our offices. In all these different offices, we do have a phone where they can make an appointment with one of our counsellors. Um, so what, when, we, when they phone, they will give, be given an appointment when to come. And then on that date, then they will have a chance to sit with a social worker or the therapist. And then we can speak about what is really the problem. With, mm -hmm. with that particular person. And then after that, it doesn't end there. There are follow-up sessions that the person will be um, expected to come to, to come for sessions. For example, we it differs to different people. So let's say, for example, we'll need you for five more sessions. Right. So we give you appointments for those five sessions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. We'll talk a little bit more about all of this later. Thank you so much. Okay. Don't forget to answer yes. our question for the day. What do you think makes a happy and healthy family? Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express. Comment on our Facebook page or call us on 0839133728 and send us the cutest picture of you and your family as well. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to Afternoon Express, almost Afternoon and Express. Afternoon Express, and if you forgot, it's Wednesday, and that means it's you've survived the middle of the week, and it should be smooth sailing from here on out. Well, let's hope. Here at Afternoon Express, we'll take an excuse, any excuse to celebrate and eat cake, and the fact that it's Wednesday is reason enough for us to do that. Clem has a deliciously decadent cake in store for us today using Sasko flour, and it's packed with fruit to make it feel a little bit guilty-free and healthy too. And it's not only just any cake, it's an apple cake mm -hmm. with a really delicious maple cream cheese 
Chinese yeah. frosting. Sounds like an amazing combination, don't you I, think? And I'm also a Danilo, which means that I really like to know that I go for dessert first, so I'm glad <laughs> to be starting with this. How Absolutely. do we make this delicious treat? And you're right, because any day that ends on a Y is a day to celebrate and have cake. So it really ends on a Y. What's that? What's that? Nothing, Clem. Did you just get it? You just I get got the it. Joke? I got the joke. Okay, cool. I got that joke. So I'm going to start with the cake mixture first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cream my oil and sugar. You know, we always cream yes. eggs and sugar. So we're going to try and do it now. Oh, butter and, and sugar. Yes. We're doing it with oil and sugar. Same thing's going to happen. It's going to change color, go light and fluffy. Uh -huh. Cool. So we're going to make the cake from scratch today. But if you're not so skilled in the kitchen or you're pressed for time, we're gonna, you could use that muffin mix that we used a few weeks ago to make yes. this cake jar. Okay, cool, I see. In and out the kitchen, 20 Just minutes. the fruit will be the slight difference. We just add the sort of fruit to that. Exactly, so um, that's done. Next thing we're gonna do is add the, the eggs. Egg. But I must be honest, those Sasko quick treats are like the ultimate kitchen hack. Yes. If you like, especially if you want to be a baker, but you just literally like, you're not too daring just yet. Those <laughs> quick treats are amazing. It's a good starter pack, I it guess. It is. It really is. Okay. You know, we should actually do that. Start I'm watching packs. you cut an break an egg over with two hands. Jeannie can do it with one, so I'm just, just saying. Just saying. Just okay. saying. I, I haven't mentioned what I can do because that would make me very embarrassed of myself on the show. <laughs> okay. I'm more hands on in the kitchen, okay? I prefer using two hands and getting messy, getting it in Good there. Come back. Exactly, cool. I mean, it's the truth. The flour? It's the truth. So I do this in stages so I don't get it everywhere. Lies, I'm getting it everywhere. So the batter gets made. You, you can sift all these ingredients. I like whacking everything into the machine and it could do the job for me. I mean, okay. why not? While I'm doing that, can you add the cinnamon? And I've got some baking sure. powder in there already. And that's right. gonna give us that lift. Look Here's at all us the dry ingredients. Two guys, one machine, killing it. We're doing so well. Okay, the next vanilla extract. Cool, that's this stuff over here. And vanilla it extract, is. just FYI, for those of you, I've said this a few times on the show before, but vanilla extract is slightly uh, more pungent than a normal vanilla essence would be. Um, it so is. it's something really nice to get, and it's come straight from the actual vanilla It itself. absolutely is. So I'm going to need... Okay, cool. So let's just rush quickly. So let me just tell you what happens. Your batter then, you can add a little bit of milk to that just to thin it down slightly. You pour it into your cake tin, and okay. you pop it in the oven. But I want to I I skip to the next part, because the next part is my absolute favorite part is that maple buttercream Yummy. frosting. Okay, cool. Cool. So your cake comes out beautiful. You can see the bits of apple in there. Obviously, the apple gets added to your cake mixture. Yes. And then your egg whites, that's a lift again. Okay, so it cooks enough in the oven itself. So it doesn't need to be like cooked off the apples. They cook in the oven with it the is. batter. And that, that's, that's why they don't like break up too much. Yummy. And you can see that's in there. So right. Dan, I'm gonna maybe, I'm gonna, you always say I don't give you good enough jobs, okay? You can do the first layer of spreading Yummy, for me. okay. So, so this is quite simple. This is butter, it's cream cheese, it's icing sugar, and then demerara and maple sugar. Okay, delicious. That so just sounds like yummy all over. And the best thing about this recipe is it's all basically throwing all these ingredients together and enjoying it. I mean, it's not one of those ones where you have to like whip this and then fold this into that. It's enjoy everything, throw it together, and it, it comes out quite simply and delicious. Okay, so Dan, I'm going to say that that's Call enough that for top. the bottom layer because I like more icing on the top of the cake. Yeah. Don't you agree? I'm the guy who eats only the icing off cakes. That tends to Are be my Are you that guy? Trick. Yep, I'm that guy. So that, that staff party event where all the cake was missing. <laughs> <the top's laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> Dan. I'll go and find people's cupcakes and I'll just eat the icing icing off the top of the cupcakes. Okay, cool. Okay, so what, I've got some walnuts that have been lightly toasted. Now you can either chop these, but I like breaking them up by hand because you get a nice contrast of like small bits, um, like smaller bits, larger bits. So it gives a nice texture, nice crunch. Okay, delicious. Well, if you're looking to treat yourself, then go ahead and do treat yourself. You deserve it. And if you're inspired to bake, then make sure you check out the Sasco website and their Facebook page for more delicious, sweet and savory ideas. Afternoon Express and Sasco are also giving away the chance to win a Sasco product hamper and a toaster valued at 2,000 Rand. Simply cook a dish using any Sasco product, take a picture of your dish with the Sasco product used and post it onto the Afternoon Express Facebook page along with the name of your creation. And now this is where you can get incredibly creative. And you could be a winner. T's and C's do apply. It's also not possible to enjoy a slice of cake, obviously, with a lovely cup of tea. Bonnie is in our garden. Welcome to the Fresh Pack Natural Goodness Series. Every day, we need reassurance that we're making healthy choices for ourselves and for our families. Fortunately, with the natural goodness of the Fresh Pack range, you know you're doing just that. Joining us in the garden today is Expresso Morning Show presenter Ewan Stratum, who last year became the proud father of his second baby boy. Yeah. Welcome to the loft, Hi, Ewan. Bonnie. Thank you. Thank such you. a pleasure to have you here always. Lovely How's the baby boy? Out. Baby boy and other baby boy, they, yes. they're both doing well. They're both doing really well, obviously, just 
just coming through a nice little winter run now, you know. Oh. Finally, summer's around the corner, you know. Every parent, they battle with illnesses and that kind of stuff. Um, but they champs, eh? They champs. So just when you thought you guys were going to be able to catch up on your lost sleep, <laughs> you had to sacrifice more sleep. <laughs> you know, Basically. you know, so the cookie crumbles, eh? So the cookie crumbles. But I must be honest, my youngest, we have been um, um, through our, our sleep battles, I won't lie, but yeah. um, he's actually coming around nicely now. We've, we, we got stuck into some sleep training methods and uh, it, it seemed to have worked pretty well. Oh, so, that's yeah. amazing. We actually, we, we're getting some sleep, which is amazing. <laughs> awesome. Now, I know that a household with two boys can become hectic and to keep them out of mischief is a challenge. Ideally, you don't want to revert to video games and tablets, but rather keep them occupied with stimulating physical activities, preferably outside. But we asked DIY expert Karen Crenier from Hands On Creative Building to create a play shelter for you and boys in their garden as a fun activity for the whole family. Let's go take a look. You know, if there's one thing I absolutely encourage my kids to do, that would be to play outside. I think I don't think kids play enough, and they, they, they really need to get outside and just enjoy nature a little bit more. So I'm very happy to have Karin with me today to build a little play structure for my boys. Karin, lovely to have you. Um, what are we doing? You and I think what we're doing is we're going to build a teepee. Actually, what we refer to as a hideout from you, the parents. It's a mobile structure, so it's very easy to put together, very easy to take down. So if the boys are tired of playing it or hiding away from you, you can take it down, wrap it in one single piece, put it in the garage. All right, well, I absolutely love that. Um, I will be your number one assistant. I'm at your disposal. As for Kian, I'm not so sure because he'll probably just want to play the whole time. I think that's number one assistant. Sorry. OK, fine. Position's been filled, I guess. <laughs> you can use any material, cloth or canvas. I use a size of approximately five meters by two meters long. The idea is to put a pole in the center. I used bamboo, but you can also use cheaper PVC plumbing pipe. Put the first pole in the center of your material, the second one in a triangle crossing over at the top, and then your third one, the same position, just on the other side. Now we need to cut the cloth in order to form the teepee semicircle at the bottom. In order to do this, the first step would be to take a piece of timber with a nail or a screw into it, a piece of string attached, and at the other end, we're gonna tie a pencil or a piece of crayon to draw the semicircle that we're gonna cut. On the other end, measure as long as your bamboo stick is, then pull the string quite tight so you can have a grip to draw the circle. After you've drawn the circle, you can take a pair of scissors and just cut on your line that you've drawn. So we're well on our way to putting together the structure now. So Karin, what's the next step? The next step is to measure about 40 centimeters from the top of the pole. We're gonna drill a hole. More or less 20 millimeters is what I use, depending on the thickness of your thread or the yeah. rope you're going to use. Then once we've drilled the hole, we are going to thread the rope through all the poles, but we need to make a knot in between. So first tie a knot, then put your thread through the um, holes in the pole, make another knot until you've done all six poles. Then we're ready to put it up. Once the structure is in position, we wrap the remainder of the rope around the six poles to tighten it together. Make a big knot in it, pull it together, and it's nice and sturdy. The next step is to take the cloth and wrap it around. We're going to take nappy pins and wrap the material around the pole. Start from the bottom and work your way to the top. Once you've tied all the pins, take a piece of blue ribbon and tie it to the top. That's just to neaten the whole structure and to add a bit of color. There we go, guys. Got you some tea. Kian, for you. Thank you. Karen, thank you very much. Eh? This was such an awesome process. We had a lot of fun. Thank you. I think the kids are really going to enjoy this one. I think he's enjoying it already, but I might just, you know, steal it for myself. Just for a little bit. Eh? Wouldn't be a problem, would it? No, not at all. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Wow, that looked like so much fun. How are the boys enjoying their shelter? Oh, it was a blast, eh? We had so much fun. Um, they are loving it. They are really? loving it. I don't know what it is about these little structures, you know, that boys just love, but I mean, I can only um, remember remember from when I was a kid, you know, I was a farm boy and I was forever looking for a kind of a shelter or, you know, I built my own little things to climb into tents, and play with, caves, you know, tents, yeah, yeah, in the trees, whatever I could find. So they're absolutely loving it. And it's such a great, I think, uh, way for them just to get outside and be active a little yeah, bit, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, 
it looks like such a fun activity for the entire family. Mm. I mean, you're, in, you're a busy man. How do you balance the traveling, the working, and also putting in quality time with your wife and your children? I won't lie, it's a tough one. Right? It's a tough one. Yeah. It really is a tough one. Yeah. I'll know you as a mother as well. You, you also never know. really nail it. It's like a yeah, day at a time thing. Yeah, you, you kind of manage it, I guess. You know, but it's all about it's all about management and it's all about how you look at the bigger picture, I guess. And yes, we need to stay busy. We need to stay active. We need to do what we need to do um, work-wise to support our families. Um, but I don't think you should you should never forget that you, you actually have a family at home, you know. Yeah, so absolutely. wherever I can, I, I, I try and just spend time with them. Um, um, you know, do something fun over the weekends. You know, I try to keep my weekends fairly open and flexible so I can just spend some some quality time with them. And yeah. it doesn't have to be anything significant, you know. It could be literally just being around the house yeah. with the kids or, or just going for a walk on the beach with the dogs, you know, something fun. So, um, yeah, just the yeah. time spent is very important. Yeah. Now, anyone who knows you knows that you're one of the healthiest and fittest people that they've ever met. S How do you keep so <laughs> healthy in body and mind? Look... Once again, I think it's a balance, and I fully believe that you can't have a, a healthy body without a healthy mind, um, and vice versa as well. You need to constantly work on keeping both aspects pretty healthy. And I mean, it's an ongoing battle. You can't get it right all the time. It really yeah. is. I mean, I'm not. You know, I'm not going to say like I'm always healthy and I'm always on top of my game. You know, I'm not. You know, you. you it's, it's something that you work yeah. on day by day. But yeah. I think um, what I what I what I do manage to try and do um, is to is to literally make it part of my lifestyle is to make yes. it who who I am you know yeah. focus on being healthy focusing on exercising regularly you know and and, and incorporate that as in, into your life uh, I think that's the only way to go about it because like you said we are very very busy and if you look at how busy you are you you're gonna take the first chance you get uh, to relax or to try and <laughs> relax you know? couch, but instead yeah. if you feel like that's I mean I will still go train I'll still go to the gym and, and, and do my thing and yeah. um, to second that I will literally just try and eat as healthy as I possibly yeah, can. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's incredible commitment. And we that's try. also <laughs> one of the biggest lessons that you can pass on to your children. How do you model this healthy lifestyle to your boys? Sure. I'm, I'm sure you would agree when I say that you can, you, can, you can have your kids and you can sit them down and you can talk to them up until you're blue in the face. It's not really going to do anything. Yeah. I believe you. You lead my example. Um, as a parent, you need to you need to do things, and they will uh -huh. they will look at you and they will watch you. They're very clever. They're very clever. Yeah. This is the one thing I've realised. Yeah. You know, you, they pick up on things that you they don't watch normally think. and listen to everything all, the time. all yeah. the time. So so for me, it's all about leading by example. Uh -huh. Once again, um, you know, within how, how how I go about my day, how how I talk to people, um, how I keep myself in check. You know, um, how I'm I keep active as well. You know, so I. Try to model those things to my kids and yeah. um, obviously bringing it back to the to you know to my household when it comes to you know eating healthy I try to incorporate that you know what what we eat they eat mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That's very important. Also, um, you know, kids kids love sugar, you know. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. trying to, I, I really try and avoid, you know, yeah. giving them too Absolutely. much sugar. So when it comes to their beverages, I, try, I, don't, I don't give them fizzy drinks. I don't drink fizzy drinks myself wow, you know, at all. You know, now and then I'll have a little, yeah. little one or so, but, but as a general rule, I don't really like yeah. to keep it. Um, lots of water. Um, and, and obviously for, for me, I try to have my coffees and stuff, you know. But, but for them, obviously, I'm not going to give the kids coffee, but so a, a good robust tea is always a, a favorite you know I grew up with it as well mm. I mean uh, for them it's perfect it's naturally sweet it's got all the antioxidants that they need for, for a healthy body as well and um, it's also it's also stimulant free so for kids it's absolutely perfect yeah. um, so that's that's my go-to stuff you know that I try absolutely. and just kind of incorporate in my yeah. in my household yeah it's so funny when you say you grew up with rooibos I actually remember every time I'd smell my plastic sippy cup when I was a baby it smelled like rooibos <laughs> and rooibos always then reminded me of home Mm. Like home time, who family can, time. Who couldn't forget that plastic yeah. sippy cup you all <laughs> right. Thank yeah. you so much for Such sharing with us Such a pleasure. Thank today. you, guys. It was, it was amazing. lovely to have you. Thank you. <laughs> Fresh Pack Rooibos is all about choosing the healthy way. With Fresh Pack Junior, moms and dads can be assured that the kids will enjoy all the beneficial antioxidants, no caffeine, and of course the natural goodness of Fresh Pack Rooibos. And it's delicious, served hot or cold. If you'd like to win a Fresh Pack hamper of selected teas, SMS the keyword Fresh Pack Your Name and City to 33728 now. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50 T's and C's apply and can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. Until next week, keep yourself and your family happy, healthy and enjoying life with the natural goodness of fresh pack robots.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. So we're speaking about the important role that families play in society. And I'm so loving seeing all of your photos on Facebook as well as on Twitter. But the thing about having a family is it's important to have a community too. And the thing, the important thing about a community is that means you have to have gatherings. And when you have gatherings, it's lots of people. When it's lots of people, it's lots of people to feed. And so I asked Clem particularly today to create something for us in the kitchen that yeah. we can feed many with. Feed the 5,000 if they came to visit you. Cool. So to get, what are we going to make today? We're gonna make little cocktail snacks. Can we gotta start yep. off slow and then feed them with a big meal? No, but then okay? it spreads. It spreads itself thinly. You don't have to make like okay. one burger per person, then, which is great. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So I'm starting with some sea harvest fish nuggets right now. I love fish nuggets. I like nuggets of any type. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm also. I only grew into a big fan when in my adult years. Most people start when they're kids. I grew up in my adult years, <laughs> yeah. loving nuggets. Cool. So what I do is, I've, it's super simple. They're still frozen, which uh -huh. is what I absolutely love. Is that we can cook the sea harvest nuggets from frozen. Right. On the tray. Whack it in a pre oven, and then 20 minutes later, they come out looking like that. Ta da! Cool. So, um, like normally, I always like reprimand you for snacking. Mm -hmm. um, actually, this time it was me. No, you I was the, the one that was yeah. snacking. <laughs> oh, really? Is okay, that cool. why there's so few here? Like, I saw something in the tray, and then it ended up with. I just know, okay, mouth. my bad. So, to do this, we're gonna make our own little homemade um, pickled cucumbers. Okay. Just like to counteract the, the, like, the delicious crunchiness on the, on the actual right. nuggets. So, we're gonna create a bit of like, the tartness. Cool. Show me how. So what I've got is I've got some vinegar on the boil already with a little mm -hmm. bit of sugar. I'm going to add the remaining sugar while you slice my cucumber. Okay, great. Do you like so, it? I don't know how you... You're doing it really well. slices, like salad slices. Really well. So depending on how tart you like it or how sweet you like it, you can like play around with the amount of sugar to vinegar. Okay. Then I like some garlic in there. I mean, it's a little bit Ooh. of pungency. It's really great. And I love chili flakes. Yes. It gives it a nice bite. You are creating a pickle. It's basically what you're doing. A pickle sauces and stuff. You always wonder what's inside there. Well, this is what's this is inside it. a pickle This is like sauce. the base. Your, your vinegar and your sugar is the base. So I'm going to try and grab these cucumbers from you over here. Is that enough for you for now? It is. It is real good. So what I do is I pop them in the pickle and I actually cook them for 30 seconds. And then I turn off the heat and then I pop it into a jar, an uh -huh. airtight jar. What's really great is that these keep for Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> yeah! They keep forever. Well done. Nice one, nice Adventurous one. Adventurous cucumber, you are the winner. <laughs> so, what happens is, th we made these last week. Yeah. How amazing is that? It looks delicious. So, it is, it's so good. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start assembling our little cocktail skewers. Okay, great. So, so you can go in anyway. This is the part where your whole family can get involved, have some fun with these. Uh, just obviously remember these are sharp objects, so just make sure that the kids are slightly supervised or taught how to do it properly. The kids and the Dan. The kids so and I the like me, yeah. Is, I like to kind of create. Uh, exactly what you've done. I create a bit of a base, so I put my, um, my little nugget on first, mm -hmm. and I go with a bit of basil and a little bit of radish. Radish is amazing because I said peppery. Yeah. Again, that's just a contrasting flavors and crunch, so you want to keep that in mind. I've done something very clever here with my skewer because I've started with all the greens on top because kids always go, ew, greens, but then you get them, they're like, well, you can't get to the rest of it unless you get through the greens, so eat your greens first. And if they go like this? Oh, but then they wouldn't. They'd hold okay, it cool. the other way. All right, so Dan, so you can see we've got some done already over there. Cool. I've got a tartar sauce, and last week you asked about that pink sauce. Mm -hmm. So I actually got the pink sauce sauce here today, and that's Thousand Island sauce. So you've created a little surprise sauce, which is really it cool is. because actually Sea Harvest is also giving away a whole bunch of really cool prizes. If you want to find the details, it's on our Facebook page. There's a link there you guys can go click and win yourself some really cool instant prizes. So that's also another surprise. Exactly. So what I like doing is I like serving on a two little platters, separating the batch of cocktails. You don't want to yeah. have one big platter that everybody rushes to. Keep it on two plates. That's you where you can kind of break up the parties. There we Great. go. Fantastic. Looks super delicious. And if you want to get all the recipe details, you can go to our website, afternoonexpress.co.za and cook along with us on Afternoon Express. This way you can feed the 5,000, build community, and community is key to really, really good families. Now, after the break right here on the show, it's time for Winner Home on Afternoon Express. And today we're taking a look at a breathtaking property in Durban. So stay right where you are. Win a home on Afternoon Express, where you, the viewer, can win one of three luxury apartments at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Winelands worth over three million rand. Designed by our three contestants using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Welcome back. We've had so much fun exploring and discovering beautiful homes on privateproperty.co.za during Winner Home. And today we have our last home of the week for the series, hosted on privateproperty.co.za. This grand house is situated in the gorgeous Mount Edgecombe in Durban and brings with it extraordinary living. I'm in beautiful, friendly Durban, just west of Umshanga. Today I'm taking a look at a home in the prestigious Mount Edgecombe Lifestyle Estate. Not too long ago, this was just sugar plantations and now it's a sweet place to live. Wow. 
I thought this would be a great place to start the tour. Sure. How's this for a veranda? This is so stunning. It's nice and open. You've got a beautiful view. It's got a really nice feel to it. I mean, you can just imagine yourself sitting here on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, great absolutely. Great entertainment area. Absolutely. Um, if I'm not mistaken, though, Mount Edgecombe used to be just sugarcane fields. Yeah, absolutely. When I was eight years old, I used to come to swimming training out here. I used to drive all the way from Durban North out to Mount Edgecombe. It was quite a long trip, and you drove through forests. So to see it today, and it's one of the most prestigious golf estates in the country. Let's talk briefly about investments. Why has this area exploded the way it has? Well, there's been such a big trend to moving towards living on estates. And I think obviously one of the number one things that buyers look for in today's market is security. And when you're buying on Mount Edgecombe Estates, that's the number one thing that you're getting. You're getting incredible security, you're getting an outstanding lifestyle, but you're able to live with open doors, live on your verandas, and you don't have to worry about security. As we were driving through the estate to get to this beautiful home, I noticed that a lot of the houses have got similar aesthetics. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons. When you buy onto a estate, you're kind of accepting that you're buying into a specific style of property, um, a specific architectural style. And Mount Edgecombe, as an association, you know, they will govern everything that happens here. So when you're doing plans, everything's got to be passed by the association. And it's done for a specific reason. You know, they want there to be a certain uniformity and a certain style to, to this estate. So it was based on the old Natal veranda style. So you'll find a lot of the properties have these incredible verandas, which is what we're standing on right now. And it just leads itself to, to open plan living uh, and, and living outdoors. And in Durban, you know, what more can you ask for? We've got a brilliant climate all year round. So let's live outside. Well, this veranda most certainly is the focal point of this home, right? As you walk into this property, you're literally drawn to this veranda. And as you rightly said, it is the focal point of the home. Um, and if you consider, you know, the type of person that's going to buy a home like this, he's a corporate, he's an executive, and he's going to want to relax on his downtown with his family, with her family, and they want to spend quality time here with family and friends. And this home just leads itself to entertainment. And everything just flows so nicely, and that's such an important aspect of a home, is that there's a good flow. I love the flow of this house. Everything just sort of seems to go from one room into the next. It's got a beautiful, inviting feel about it. Absolutely. And now here we are in the central living area. This is the family room. Lovely flow once again from the kitchen out into the lounge. You've got a casual dining area over there. And of course, behind us over here, you've got the formal dining space. Grant, how do multiple living areas add value to a property like this? Well, the price of any property is determined by three things. It's location, it's accommodation, and the condition of that property. So obviously every room that you add onto a house, you technically you're adding value to the, to the price of the home. So the design of the home has to be very carefully considered. You know, and, a, and a home that has a great flow from living to entertainment area is gonna fetch a higher value than a home that's got rooms all over the place and just doesn't have that same natural flow. Well, we've explored quite a lot so far. I'm keen to continue. Where does the family stay? They're upstairs. They've got four amazing bedrooms upstairs. Let's go and have a look. Awesome. I particularly love the way that they've added little ornaments here and there. It looks stunning. Absolutely. The finishings are very good. It's very important on a, on a half-priced home as well. Well, then, look, this is the main master bedroom. And as you can see, it is absolutely huge, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really big. This room is so on trend with everything available in one facility. It's perfect for the executive homeowner. Exactly, and this home is being marketed for the executive. And as you've seen downstairs, the living area downstairs is all very open. It's got a great flow. The last thing you want to do is come to bed at the end of a long day and you're coming into this cramped up space. So that's why this bedroom is just perfect, once again, for the executive. It's got wide open spaces, it's got your walk-in closet, and if absolutely necessary, it's got your study in the corner where you can slip in a few extra hours of work. But definitely a great space to come and just completely forget about the day. Something that really caught my eye was this wallpaper behind us because it really reflects the outdoors. It sounds like Mount Edgecombe celebrates nature. Well, not only are we living around a championship golf course, but we're actually living on a conservancy, a protected conservancy. So you've got an abundance of wildlife, you've got impala, you've got other sorts of buck, you've got vervet monkeys that run amok here. Of course, you've got an abundance of bird life. So it all adds up to this amazing lifestyle that you buy into when you buy a property on Mount Edgecombe Country Club Estate. Here at Mount Edgecombe, nature and family living combine to create this beautifully harmonious lifestyle. If I've piqued your interest, head to privateproperty.co.za to find the home and neighborhood that suits your needs. Pat Home really has one of the most beautiful open plan living areas. And speaking of living areas, recently Joanne's Lounge saw her winning her first challenge of the series. And after all the weeks of hard work she's put into her apartment, what a better way for her to be rewarded than a relaxing day at the spa. 
Team BC finally won a challenge and we are at the Pearl Valley Spa to enjoy our rewards that we uh, really deserve because we worked so hard. I brought my sister with me to enjoy the day. Team BC for the win! And we can't wait to just lie down, relax and enjoy our spa treatments. Uh, Breeze Spa is an awesome spa. It's situated on Valdivia and Pearl Valley. We cater for our residents as well as any um, guests from all over. It's a destination spa to come and enjoy yourself and uh, and make the most of the surroundings. Uh, Jeanne and her sister are going to experience the absolutely magnificent gold facial. It's a, a, a facial that's literally got pieces of gold in it and it uh, awakens the skin and gives them the most magnificent glow. So at the moment we have real gold and diamonds on our face. It's very good for you, apparently. <laughs> and um, I'm just so relaxed and I feel a bit like a bit weird with this on my face, but um, it's good. I feel um, like I'm shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> they definitely saved the best for last. This is the perfect price for the final challenge. Oh, the hot golf ball massage is, has been developed because we're situated on Pearl Valley Golf Course and we have come up with an idea of heating up golf balls. The golf balls are heated and they have dimples in them and it allows for some real deep tissue massage which gives them the benefit of uh, relaxation and improved circulation and they leave the treatment feeling like new people. It's absolutely stunning. That was so nice. I feel so relaxed and rejuvenated. I'm ready for the final. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Oh, Joanne, I'm so proud of you, shining bright like a diamond. I clearly have rubbed off onto you. It's really good to see you celebrating your win. I cannot wait because this Friday, South Africa, we're going to be announcing which one of those three design contestants is our winner. Plus, one of you at home is going to walk away with a home worth more than three million rand live on South African television. It's going to be an episode not to be missed and it's happening this coming Friday. If you haven't entered to win, here's the details on how you guys have been entering over the last while. Our design contestants have completed their homes. Watch the Winner Home Grand Finale live on Friday the 26th of August to see which designer takes home the accolades. Plus, one lucky Afternoon Express viewer will win themselves one of these amazing homes valued at more than 3 million rand. If you win, would you choose Minentle's colourful interior, Joanne's minimalism or Rudolph's fashionable style? Tune in on Friday the 26th of August at 5pm to see who will win. With more love tips from the Revlon Love Squad as beauty blogger Cynthia Guebu reveals how can you tell if he loves you? I believe it's all in the little things. Not necessarily taking you on expensive vacations to the Maldives, but just in the little wake-up calls in the morning, the good nights, messages at night, just keeping up with you during the day, asking how it was, um, just basically having you in the forefront of his life most of the time, most of the day, because we are all busy anyway. Um, and I just think you can feel when a man loves you or you know when a man loves you when he constantly tells you this. It's hard to just assume that someone is in love with you when you haven't heard it from them. So I think that once he's able to actually profess those words, that's when you actually know. <laughs> Cynthia and the rest of our Revlon Love Squad have more love tips and makeup trips in the bag. So make a date with us tomorrow to catch Cynthia's next makeup tutorial. You can also follow their campaign online, hashtag Love Squad SA, love is on. And I'll tell you how I can tell if he loves me. Now summer's coming up and he knows you can't be cooking me up all those extra calories. Danilo has some ideas in the kitchen. <laughs> I see what you did there, Barney. Yes, indeed. Today we're making something that is very carb conscious. Uh, and joining us obviously in the kitchen is our resident chef, Clem Pedro. We'll be showing you how to make a really different version of a cottage pie because it's mm -hmm. one of the classics all families love to make. Cool, so let's kick it off. So in the pan, I've got my mint. It's already being cooked off. You can see I've browned it nicely. I've added my onions there. On your I'm going to add the rest of the celery and carrots. And that's called a... Bolognese. A mirepoix. A mirepoix. A mirepoix. But it's the basic ingredients it for so a bolognese. Okay, cool. So what I do is kind of soften my vegetables in with the mince over there 
and then I'm going to go in straight. And you can actually help me here. You can bring sure. me that tomato paste over there. Good right. Here we go. Thank you so much. Do an actual tomato. Uh, I'm going to use that as well, yes. I like adding a little bit of tomato um, sauce to it. That kind of adds a little bit of sweetness Zinginess. in there. A zingy and a sweetness, there we I go. suppose, yeah. So um, I like that you got that in your hand. I'm going to take it. I've got some garlic that's in there. Uh-huh. Ooh, there we go. These in the are all pan. basically the raw ingredients for making any kind of bolognese, the base of any kind of bolognese, if you're wondering what's exactly going on. Exactly what here. it is. Yeah. I'm going to let you do the little sprinkle, the little chefy sprinkle of the, of the chili. Of the chili? Yeah. It's a nice colour, so I can do like a little... There we go. So now, Dan, if you can pass me the, the demi-glaze over there. Sure. That's in the sachet. Want both of them? This is like one of my favorite Woolies products ever. And Demi Glaze, basically what it is, it's a, it's a beef stock that's made, like yep. literally as chefs do. I mean, I used to work in the kitchen. I was in charge of making stock, so I know how much love and attention goes into making a Demi Glaze. And time. It takes three days. Yo! So now Woolies have got a product that's done for you. So Demi Glaze is really intense, beefy flavor that's in there. Ooh. It goes all over the place. <laughs> I'm just trying to share that flavor with everyone. How did you manage to squeeze yours open so much? Well, there you go. You can there do this go. one. I can't do that one. No, actually, Hopefully one, one this is one enough. It's that intense. One okay, is cool. enough. That's in there. That's going to add that intense beefy flavor Ooh, to the yum. dish. Okay, cool. So they've got the tomato sauce in there, the, cat, the tomato paste, the demi-glaze. Well, I need right. nice water in my black cup. Da -da -da -da. Cool. Pour it in. And you don't need stock because, like I said, Debbie Glaze is basically a reduced stock. Okay. That's and it's got cook slightly down. more intense of a flavor, so you, that's why you're just adding the water there to give it its liquid. Exactly. I'm going to turn down the heat. That's, that's real hot. Cool. Mm -hmm. And you can let that simmer for a little bit. Cool. What I'm doing now, we're being smart. We're being really carb clever about the whole thing. So instead of the potatoes that normally top yes. your cottage pie, we're going to go with flour? roasted cauliflower. Yum. And I simply roasted this for about half an hour in, an, in the oven. A little bit of salt and pepper, a little olive oil. Okay, you and that's always going to give it its nice uh, sort of flavor, plus cauliflower is not too much of an intense flavor to overpower the dish that's below it. So it's, it acts well as an alternative to a potato. Exactly. I'm going to go with some cream cheese, just with some of that okay. cream in its delicious flavor. Mm -hmm. And then again, what I like doing, and this is what a tip that I like using, is adding a bit of water. The reason for that is it helps everything blend up smoothly, but uh -huh. you're not kind of, you're not watering down the flavors. You're actually, um, you're actually, because you're going to roast it again, you, the flavor does come up. So let me just get this thing cut on here again. Ta -da. So that water reduces in there, so that extra moisture just evaporates. Okay. So you're going to give it a stop. Give it a little bit of a swirl. It Bring it all together. Nicely done. All right, so that's going to obviously combine to create the sort of mass that you would have put on top, and then eventually that goes into the dish and then into the oven. Exactly. And it comes out looking like? Like that beautiful oh. guy over there. So it's like all that the brown, your bolognese at the bottom, your cauliflower puree on top, and then okay. it goes with the oven and it comes delicious. out that delicious. So if you want to get the shopping list for this and find the recipe, all you have to do is SMS the keyword PI to double three six five zero. Your free SMSs don't apply and they will cost you one rand fifty. Like I said, there you'll get the shopping list as well as a link to the recipe. And then obviously make the super, super delicious dish for yourself at home. It is absolutely as simple as that. All right, so if you guys want to, if you've missed how to make the recipe and you want a quick little recap, take a look at this. Wow, the food looks absolutely extraordinary. I don't even know what to start with first. Yeah, no, it feels like you want to go through them all at the same time. Exactly. Or start with dessert, that's, that's the thing I've always learned. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> a definite family meal fit for a family. Today yeah. we we'll asked you to share your cutest family pics. Here are some we got from you. Will you see Leslie Tang who sent us this one? Oh, so cool! <laughs> I love seeing the photos of all of you guys that have sent in through. Okay, Momaho, uh, Princess Wamalulu also sent us this one. <laughs> So cool! Oh. 
I must totally Sweet. go for the Throwback Thursday tomorrow. I'm going to try and find a family photo of my family together and definitely make sure that gets posted on the social yeah. site. I'd love to see. Yeah, it's a great reminder to actually remind people, take pictures of you and your family. Yes. I mean, people have become so focused on taking pictures of themselves all the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Get your mom and dad in that yeah. selfie. All right, so are we all going to start with dessert? Or Bonnie, you want to try out some of the, the carb I'll clever? I'll definitely try something. But before I try something, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It's such a great show. Thank you so much for tuning into the show. South Africa, it's so good to be back on your TV screens. We'll be back again tomorrow, right here in Afternoon Express between 5 and 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the big finale of Winner Home happening on Friday live, right here on SABC3. Happy eating and good night. Good night. Good night. Mmm. I'm gonna steal a kitty. Yeah. Coming up tomorrow on Afternoon Express, celebrity makeup artist Gina Myers joins us in the loft. And in the kitchen, our resident chef Clem Pedro makes us beef mince two ways. The hottest address on TV is Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. Another feel good production.